Okay, so anyhow, we just came from the funeral set, and Gary Meadowhosen is the guy I want to talk to. So what's your name? Robert Jones. And you know Gary for, for how long? Gary for a long time. Well, I started at the CBC 20 years ago, and uh, he was there when I got there, so I guess I've known him for 20 years. Very sad. It's unbelievably sad. I mean, uh, first of all, uh, Gary is one of the few people who had his life completely in balance. He loved work, he loved his hobbies, and he had a great uh, family life, like everything perfectly. He was fit, physically fit, uh, emotionally, you know, everything was just right, the way you're supposed to live your life. And uh, he's the last person, really honestly, the last person I would expect something like that to happen to. Same here. And uh, he retired, but he didn't. <laughs> oh, I know. He, he, uh, he did more work after he retired than when he was uh, at the CBC. I mean, the last thing you expect someone who spent 30 years uh, in the media to do is to retire and then buy a newspaper. Anyway, but that's what he was like. He enjoyed working. Like he was, uh, you know, he wasn't he wasn't uh, looking to get into a rocking chair on his no. uh, deck. He he really enjoyed what he did, the reporting and the talking to people and the and the, this community. He really loved. So he just wanted to keep going. Robert, what's going to happen with the River Valley News now? Diane Borky died in uh, October '08, and now this. Yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, these kind of um, enterprises really require a lot of uh, work. people who uh, love them and are dedicated to them, and Gary really wanted to do it. I mean, a lot of people said, Gary, don't do it, you're crazy, <laughs> and, uh, you know, actually a lot of the equipment that he bought for the paper was from the old Carlton Free Press. Oh, really? Yeah, really? Uh, yeah. He oh, got, I didn't know and that. He got, well, he felt terrible. He got a really good deal on it, because they, of course, uh, went out of business. And he felt badly about that, but hey, it was state-of-the-art equipment, and it was at a cut-rate price. So, um, yeah, I mean, but he knew the he knew what could happen, like because uh, it happened to them, and he was worried about he was worried about that kind of thing. But he really wanted to do it, and that's what the River Valley News needs is, is somebody like that, oh, and hopefully somebody's there. And there, he wasn't political in the River Valley News. No, Gary was never. He, he I always called his call him boring because it was always outdoor, outdoor. <laughs> I told him that. I used to agitate him a lot. That's what he loved, and he didn't have any real. He didn't have access to grind or anything. It's not. He was a super nice yeah. person, really nice person. Came through on the radio, and everybody says that about him. He wasn't a pushover. He wasn't a Pollyanna. You know, like uh, inside work on uh, you know uh, employee, employer, union management things. He was pretty tough and pretty. Uh, uh, you know, he took some pretty strong stands at certain points, and uh, but uh, overall, he wasn't interested in living his life in that way, like being consumed with uh, conflict. He really just enjoyed uh, living every day, and uh, like I say, his family, his work, his hobbies, everything. And it's a big, big loss to Grandma. Huge loss. Yeah, no question. To, to uh, all of us, any, everybody who knew him, and a person like that, just you know. Uh, anyway, the only good thing about this is he he went out doing something that he really really enjoyed. Yeah, you know, I mean, I there there really is not an upside to it at all. No. But you know, I mean, my father died fairly young, at 63, really? and uh, I, the only thing I ever got out of that was the fact that I always remembered him that way. Like I don't have to see him uh, get older and older and older, and uh, but. Really, that's a pretty, very small compensation. I know, I know. So sad. Thanks a lot, Robert. My pleasure.